right guys, welcome back. Welcome to our last lesson in this Patterns and Equations unit. And just to start off today, let's just look at this picture here. And suppose these, uh, these four boys had the same mass. Both teams had the same mass. And another boy joins one team and his mass is 50 kilograms. Now, what could be done to keep the match fair? What are we gonna have to do to make it so that it's a fair match? I'll let you think about that for a sec. Okay, so let's just talk about um, the equivalency thing, making each side equal again. And so let's say this guy named Max, he started with this equation each time, two plus four equals three times two. And let's just establish that two plus four is six, and three times two is six, those are indeed equal. Okay, so our job today is to make everything equal. Um, when we say equal, we have to make sure it's true. We have to make sure that this is true and it doesn't turn into this. That's what we don't want. We want to make sure everything that the equal sign is always true. So he had these counters here, and so he did model two plus four, right? Two plus four, and three groups of two is two times three, okay? So that is indeed equal. He's using counters to show that. So let's say he subtracted four from one side, and he subtract, he, um, let's just say, so here's our six subtracts four from this side. Well, in order for this to stay equal, to stay true, we're gonna have to do the same. We're gonna have to get rid of four from that side so that it is two and two, okay? Our, our job is to make the counters equal. Well, let's say he adds two. So we have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the other side. Uh, we have made sure that it is kept equal. Well, let's say he multiplies it by two. He took the six and he doubled it on each side. So we both have, uh, we have 12 counters on both sides. So indeed, we're still keeping that equal sign uh, the same. Same on both sides. Well, what if he divides it by two? Well, I have my six counters. I'm gonna divide into two groups. It's one group, another group. That's two equal groups there. So we have the same amount of groups on each side. So again, the equal sign still works, okay? So whatever Max did to one side of the equation, he did to the other side too. Each time the numbers of the counters on both sides remain equal. So the e equation remains balanced. Again, the whole point of this lesson is to make sure that this works, okay? That means it's equal, can't be anything else. When each side of the equation is changed in the same way, the values remain equal. This is called the preservation of equality. And the same is true if one side of the equation is an expression containing a variable. So let's talk about some variables and how do we make sure that it's true. So we can also show equality with variables and expressions. We can model six equals 3t using bars or paper strips. So I'm gonna use bars here. If you had pieces of paper that were equal, that would work too. You can see I have three t's, so I could say three times t, or three t, uh, as the same length as six here. So six equals three t. So to preserve equality, we can add the same number to each side. So I added the number one to both sides. Um, you can see that I have one on the six, and now to make sure that it's the same length or equal, I have my three t plus one. So six plus one can equal three t plus one. What if I wanna preserve equal equality by subtracting? I could subtract the same number um, from each side. So let's say I subtract, this is the equivalent of one on each side. I can say, well, to six minus one, well, we know it's five, but let's say I had to do make sure it's the same length. I'm gonna have to say three T minus one. So it's equal to six minus one. Uh, I can multiply the same number. So I actually took and doubled everything I took. I, said six times two, and so I'd have to do three T times two just to make sure that it was the same on, you know, same length so that it's equal. And then lastly, I can divide, and I could divide that in half or divide by two. So if I did the six divided by two, I would have to divide the three T divided by two in order to make sure that it was the same length or equal. So three T divided by two is equal to six divided by two in our example. So again, whenever we do the same thing to each side of an equation, we produce an equivalent form of the equation. So we learned from the bar example, that six plus one equals three t plus one, six minus one equals three t minus one, 
2 times 6 equals 2 times 3t, and 6 divided by 2 equals 3t divided by 2. These are all equivalent forms of the equation 6 equals 3t. Now, normally in math, we don't use pictures like this, but I use the pictures to show you that in order to keep the same length, we have to make sure they're equal. So just remember that this, this sign means that this and this have to be the same or else this sign is no longer true. So that's really it for our unit here. And uh, thanks for watching. And remember, in life, math happens. Take care. My world.